A 62-year-old bridge in our area getting a major makeover. The Jupiter Bridge will soon be replaced. That's the portion of US-1 that crosses the Loxahatchee River in Intracoastal. WPTV News Channel 5's Jillian Idle explains part of the project is going to make it more friendly for people who are walking or riding their bikes. I live right up near County Line in Equesta, so I'm constantly traveling over that bridge. Jack Pardue works at the Blue Line Surf Shop just down the road from the Jupiter Bridge, which is part of US-1 that crosses the Intracoastal Waterway. Recently, a $133 million project was approved by the Florida Department of Transportation to replace the bridge. Traffic's already so bad in that area, especially with the downsizing on US-1 from three lanes to two lanes. This will impact my commute to work. FDOT says construction will begin in the summer of 2021, but a 20-month full bridge closure will begin in the spring of 22. 20 months is pretty shocking. It's probably going to double my work commute. You can see on this map where the traffic will be rerouted from US-1 to Indian Town Road and alternate A1A. Significant changes include seven-foot bike lanes and eight-foot sidewalks on both sides of the bridge, as well as an extended horizontal clearance of 125 feet and 35 feet of vertical clearance, which could reduce bridge openings by 60%. If all goes according According to schedule, the bridge will be back open for use in early to mid 2025. I've just seen a lot of incidents already working here with traffic and pedestrians. I just hope they are able to make it in a safe way. And if you do have any questions or just want to learn more about the detours, FDOT is hosting a workshop in less than two weeks on March 5th at the Jupiter Community Center. Reporting in Jupiter, Jillian Idol, WPTV News Channel 5.